this video, I will demonstrate some of the scripts which Inawera has created for the Enterprise Assets Management or Plant Maintenance Module of SAP. I will be utilizing Inawera's Process Runner Excel add-in to run the scripts. Process Runner Excel add-in allows an end user to utilize Excel as an interface to SAP. With a simple click of a button, I will be able to run the transaction code IE01 and create an equipment object in SAP. I will also run a few BAPIs as well in this demo, which will enable me to download data on an equipment object and then make changes in the data and upload the changes to SAP again by just simply clicking a button. And then finally, I will run a script which will allow me to execute the transaction IP04 to create multiple maintenance items at one time. Let's get started here with IE01. Here I have a nice form layout for my data. For the sake of this demo, we are assuming that I, as an end user, have populated this form with the necessary data, and I'm now ready to upload the data to SAP. Here at the bottom of the form, you can see where my messaging from SAP will be written. I'm going to go ahead and press the Run button here, this Create Equipment, and we'll submit this data to SAP. Notice that I'm prompted for a username and password. For its transaction technology, Process Runner Excel add-in works totally outside of SAP via an RFC call. So just because I have access to this Excel file with a Process Runner transaction technology script embedded in it, I can't override SAP security and run this transaction unless I'm authorized to do so in SAP. Process Runner Excel add-in supports single sign-on, enterprise portal, SNC, SSO1, and SSO2 authentication. As you just saw, I, I used a traditional username and password. Now the SAP messaging is written to the Excel spreadsheet here, so I've successfully created this equipment in SAP. Let's just scroll back over here. We can also see that SAP messaging has been parsed out into these boxes here. Now we have this very handy shown SAP GUI link, so by clicking on this, I can immediately go into SAP and just verify indeed that the equipment has been created, which you can see that it has. If I go to Extras here and then Administrative Info, I can see my SAP username as well as the date that it was created on. I have an audit trail within SAP of the transactions which I run utilizing Process Runner Excel add-in to SAP. It will be as if I've recorded the transaction manually. Now I'm going to go to the next tab in my workbook here, where I will download the details in SAP on a piece of equipment utilizing Process Runner's BAPI technology. So there I have an equipment number, which is actually the one that I just created. And now I want to get the details on this equipment or the data on it. I'm just going to press this Get Details of Equipment. Now this is the BAPI, BAPI Equip Get Detail. And so it's embedded in this worksheet. I've created that nice button feature allows me to just simply run these process files by clicking on the button. This is a little run status. It's going to show me how much SAP time as well as time through the Excel is required to process this. And there I have my data. So now that I have the data on this equipment, I want to make some changes to it. I'm just going to simply change the weight here, and I'll also change this uh, description here. And now I'm going to scroll down, and I'll run the second BAPI, which is embedded in this worksheet. And actually, before I can run this change equipment, I have it set up so that I need to save the data. So I'm going to click on Save here. All right, so now I'll go ahead and run this change equipment, BAPI. Now 
there you can see my run status for the second BAPI. And now I'll scroll back over here and let's take a look in SAP and just verify that these changes have been made. So I'm going to bring up this equipment here. And there's my new weight as well as the change in the description. And so finally, for the last tab in this worksheet, I'm going to go to this Create Maintenance Items tab. And here I have seven maintenance items which I want to create. And I'm going to just scroll over and give you a view of this data here. You'll notice in my object item list, I have multi lines. And so some of these items have two lines, uh, another has three, another has four. So I have varying degrees of multi line items. And this is no problem for Process Runner as the script, which has embedded, been embedded in this worksheet, will run the transaction IP04 and will take into account the multiple line items. So I'm just simply going to click this Create Maintenance Items to now run the process file, which will run IP04. So this now is our transaction technology. So the IE01 that I ran first was the transaction technology. And then the two process files, which I ran under the Download and Change Equipment tab, those were both BAPIs. Now this is the transaction technology, the IP04. So let's take a look now at this maintenance item here. And I just got to log in here. We'll take a look at that. And so here is my maintenance item. And then we also have those line items there. And let's just take a look at one more that has, uh, you know, many multiple items here. Let's take a look at the one that had four maintenance item 374 here. And there we have our multiple line items. This has been a quick demonstration of Process Runner Excel add-in, which can enable an end user to interface with SAP through Excel. If you'd like more information on Process Runner Excel add-in and how it can be utilized across all the modules of SAP to automate the upload and download of data to and from SAP, please contact us. We would be glad to set up a free web demo tailored to your company's particular data management needs in SAP. Thank you for watching.